We're sitting down with the next president. You say, I got five things here I want from you to do this kind of global investment that I'm talking about. What would they be? My fundamental issues come down to three. Number one, if we open markets, if we do the Doha round, if we create opportunities for all of these developing countries to participate in the largesse of the global economy, we've done something very significant. And, and by the way, that's in the in the situation where we're looking at something like the Colombian Free Trade Agreement, right. which, by the way, I think everybody's going to get a new look at because the Canadians just cut an agreement, and so they'll be able to sell their corn there without, a, without any uh, tariffs, and our corn growers are going to have to sell with a 50% tariff. Not too good. So the point is, the second issue that I think is really very, very important you is would tell this new president. the president. We have to, I mean, the whole argument around the country that we shouldn't do foreign aid is stupid. We need to think about how we're going to spend it and use some of the judgment that other countries have. And we need to say, what are we going to do on health? What are we going to do on education? What are we going to do on training? And we need to work cooperatively with the companies that are doing business there. And he would, he, it'll be a he, he would be very surprised on the kind of cooperation that he would get. The third thing that I think is very, very critical is to recognize that this terrorist issue is not going away. And we have got to collaboratively around the world build greater groups of people and countries to take this on because that's the only way to liberate so many of the, the less fortunate people around the world to make their way in the economy.